Hello and you're welcome to Sahara Football Extra. My name is Rafael Banaman Kote. If you haven't subscribed to the channel as yet, please do so to subscribe to the channel. So in today's episode, we speak about the senior national team, the Black Stars coach, Chris Hutton. You might be wondering why we are speaking about Chris Hutton, but this week he's made the headlines. I mean, he's got a lot of backlash from uh, well-meaning personalities within the rank and file of the Ghana Football Association. So first and foremost, the team manager of the side, Aminu Shadu. I mean, in a recent interview, he disclosed that if the team was under the tutelage of former um, head coach, that is Otuado, they would have performed very well. Then again, executive committee member, Randy Abe, also in a recent interview disclosed that, I mean, the expectations they had for that is um, coach Chris Hutin, he feels has not been met. But then again, it begs to ask a lot of questions that if the rank and file within the Ghana Football Association are not um, supporting their own, that is a man they've given the job to do. I mean, then again, how is he supposed to fare within the job he's doing? So backtrack a little bit. And this job before he took over, that is Chris Hutin. This job has been managed by Chris Yapia. Chris Yapia left, then we have Siki Akona coming in there. Then Milohan Rahevach also stepped into the frills of the coaching job for the senior national team, the Black Stars. When he left, Otuado came in. And Otuado stayed a categorically that he was in for the short while. He masterminded Ghana's qualification to the fourth appearance at the FIFA World Cup. I mean, we beat, uh, we were able to edge it over Nigeria in a two legged affair. I mean, uh, the fact that we were able to beat them and move to um, the World Cup, that was our fourth appearance at the World Cup, the FIFA World Cup in Qatar. I mean, we performed this money in the FIFA World Cup. Our very first game against Portugal we lost then our second game against um, that is korea we won that match by three goals to two in our very last match when the owners laid upon us for us to qualify we fell short of the expectation we drew to that is uruguay then we had to pack our bag and baggages back home otuado resigned immediately after that poor showing at the fifa world cup in qatar then the job was given to Chris Hutin. He had been in and around the job for quite a while. So he was first appointed the technical uh, director of the side. Then later he was appointed the coach of the senior national team, the Black Stars. That was some um, few months or six months ago, if I may well put it. Within this interval, he's overseen three games. And in these three games, he's won one. We won against that is Angola in that particular match. I mean, it looked a bit dire for us, but Antoine Semenyon, Semen uh, the Bournemouth player, he popped up in the dining best of the game to give us the all important three points. Then we played two away games, we drew that two away games. <coughs> so that is three games for um, Chris Hutton one win, two draws. So um if you put it i mean his win ratio i mean it's not something that you write home about but then we ask ourselves that if um the rank and file are not supporting their own i mean who else will support their own because chris hutin needs the needed maximum support in order to drive in a very daring job just recently the um, World Cup, that is qualification matches, was released. We are housing a group that has the likes of uh, Mali, Comoros, and a host of other guys in there. I mean, if he's not getting the needed support to drive in a very difficult job, I mean, who else is supposed to support him? Because I feel that a team manager like Aminu Shadow, I mean, if he says that the team would have tried better under Otuado, I mean, we all knew that Otuado was not in for the long haul. He was going to move on at some point of his season and it wasn't surprising that after the World Cup he actually um, resigned from that job to focus on Dortmund. 
because even before he took up the job, I mean, there were a lot of questions as to his affinity and his patriotism and his um, loyalty to which of the sides he was picking. I mean, we question the fact that if he was taking over the Black Stars, he needed to resign, but he didn't. I mean, he said the rules right he set the facts of the matter right that he was going to resign he eventually resigned and he went chris hutton was appointed and i i feel that we are being a bit more fair to chris hutton because if you've appointed somebody in that capacity you should be able to give him the needed backing in order to drive you understand but he wasn't given the needed backing or he is like they are shying away from what they are expected to do from him and i feel that i mean it's unfair on his part it's unfair on their part that's the rank and file within the ghana football association because you've had a lot of people saying that he should be stripped of his coaching um, credentials with the senior national team the black stars for other people to take over i mean i've read an ex-legend that is um mohammed polo saying that we have other coaches within the local side that will be able to take over the team but i'll ask myself that if you are going to get a coach by just three matches i mean it's, it doesn't fall within the remits you need to give him an ample amount of time for him to do what is expected of him then after you probably um, be able to assess and thoroughly um, assess him you understand but he has not been able to give you've not given him that fair hearing that fair chance for him to 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 um, actually work because you you have players that play overseas some within the Ghana Football Association he needs to monitor most of these guys and most of these guys come into the national team injured they come fatigued they come and you would ask yourself whether they'll be able to fit but it will take time before chris hutton implements or is able to impact positively on the side i i didn't expect him to come and hit the ground running just within the very first few matches that he oversees as black star coach. i knew it was going to take a bit of time it was going to take an amount of time but and the ample time we are asking for is that he has given the necessary room and the backing to coach this side i mean once at a point we feel that he's not able to deliver the goods for us that is when we can show him the exit door but i feel the cause for alarm is a bit overwhelming i feel the sort of warning that we are seven is a bit on a high we need to simmer down we need to um, hold our horses and also make sure that the expected thing that we have to do for that is Chris Hutton. We do. We give him the backing and the support. He needs the respect of all meaning Ghanaians to succeed in this capacity. Once we do that, I'm sure that you will enjoy our football. You will enjoy our Black Stars because Black Stars lays on the tablets of our hearts. And once they are able to play right, once they are able to play well, I mean, you know what? It does. Black Stars is more like a unifier for the country because I remember in the 2006 World Cup when the Black Stars qualified for their very first outing in Germany, I mean, the feeling was just different. Then again, in um, Brazil in 2014, I mean, it was also different. Then we went to Qatar. So that was when, I mean, the love for the Black Stars had begun dying down, but I mean, under the current um, uh, management of Keto Kreku Mante, they said they needed to bring back the love. But I mean, if you've appointed somebody to work, I feel that you need to give him the necessary assets, the necessary resources to work. And once you do that, then that is when you can thoroughly assess him within a particular amount of um, time. Once you do that, you'll be able to drive. So on this note, I feel that the cost for alarm is a bit on a stretch. Let's give him the ample amount of time to work. And once we do that, we'll get the expected results. So on this note, 
Um, this is where we draw down the curtains of today's show. My name is Rafa Banaman Kote. If you haven't subscribed to the channel as yet, please do so to subscribe to the channel. Please keep up alive with sports.